here in sunny San Diego at the Carlsbad Jet Center, getting ready to fly the Cirrus Vision Jet. I actually just placed an order for one. They won't be here for four years. That's how backlogged they are. Uh, but I'm actually flying it for the first time today, and I'm gonna talk to my representative. He said he may be able to get it uh, to me in two years if I make it a demo, which is basically what I'm flying today, is a demo that somebody ordered and they're allowing Cirrus to fly it so they were able to get uh, further in front of the line and not have to wait so long. So Cirrus Jet, it's got a parachute, it's got an auto land feature, and it's got a ton of automations, it actually flies itself. Uh, and if you saw the video or you see the video that uh, I did, the SR22T Turbo uh, is what I uh, am buying right now. But the jet here is another step up. The SR22T is a four seater, goes about 200 to 220 miles an hour. The Cirrus Jet holds seven people and goes over 300 miles an hour and has a lot of extra automation. So uh, look forward to taking you guys with me. Let's go check it out. Now that we know that we have such a big um, sort of gap or uh, range of, of speed, what can happen is that uh, you, you can use this as a little fine tune adjustment. You just turn the generators off, those two, and then you can come right over to the strobe lights and then pause for a second. Believe it or not, we're actually in a position where we're ready to fire up an engine. It's pretty cool. Right. There's no like priming or anything like that. So right up here, this is there's a little wheel. So I can move this wheel <laughs> up and down, but I can also press down as if it were a button and it will walk cool. us through our checklist. So we've got that all set up for us. And watch that. We can hear the fuel has been ignited. We can see it because the temperature is rising in the engine. All of the, the, this is our fan blade in the front of the engine that we can look at and start to see. That's spooling, engine's looking really good. set up this for us and get ourselves all set up. Call for ground and we'll be ready to taxi. All right, let's do it. Ground flow, Vision Jet 2 Golf Whiskey, Carlsbad Jet Center, ready to taxi. Vision Jet 2 Golf Whiskey, Palmer Gun with 24, taxi via Alpha. And we're starting from ACV, Alpha. We do have Alpha and we'll taxi 24 via Alpha 2 Golf Whiskey. Turn Fox There you go, so just let go of the power. There you go. Perfect. Cool, copy the run up. Awesome. And just taxi, just like you would in the SR with the brake. There you go. Yep. Perfect. Are we going through the cones? No, uh, no, we're not going to go going straight out. Yep, just straight out over here. Never come from this spot. Perfect. Awesome. Nice. It feels so much more smooth. Isn't it smooth? Like that's the thing you're going to feel with the vibration. Give yourself like maybe 15% power to get up the hill here, and then once you're sort of level and just coast it along the, the uh, line right over here. Just uh, float to the left just a little bit and we'll grab the taxiway line. And you go just this line right over here. Oh gosh. Perfect. Again, I've never come from that spot. <laughs> it's kind of interesting when it's all like one big chunk of concrete and then there's all this paint all over the place, but this is doing really good, man. Awesome. So we'll just hold short here. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Mash the power all the way forward. Computer is going to take us to this blue tick mark. 98% power today. Nice and smooth. Feet all the way down at the very bottom part of the rudders. Just rudder only at this point. A little left aileron. And start pulling back. You're going to feel it be a little heavy right there. There you go. Good. Just follow your command bars right here. 
Use two rolls of forward trim in here. I'll just help you out with that. There you go. And gear up. Or yeah. Here. So just really, yeah, pause it right. Pull that out. Pull it, pull, pull it out, and then up. There you go. Right, there we go. Just relax. And oh now hit God. AP. Just relax. This is the Fort Tango Echo, Palomar Tower, runway nice. 24, right. Fairland. Cool, good stuff. Yeah. Fairland, that's the Fort Tango. Awesome. Well, this is Jet 2 Golf Whiskey, uh, heading 245, 1.7, climb to 3,000. Your job sucks, right? Blows. It's horrible. <laughs> Jeez. This is a lot of fun, like, getting in and, like, find appreciation for all the YouTube stuff. Like, that is a, it's a, it's a fun way to build community, but also, like, showcase some of this stuff. And then, you know, there's a... Producing content is uh, it's not as easy as it looks, so not at all. it's pretty cool. But as you're sitting here, like smooth, quiet, like it's pretty cool. That's what this could be. So, what are the big things? So, upgrading from like an SR22 to here, what are the big things that you see that people like really like in the Vision Gem? That they really like? Yeah, it's like just a big change from the 22. So it's it's this whole principle of the airplane has 50% more capability than the SR but you end up having it's 80% easier. I mean, just think about how comfortable you are right now. Yeah. Like you can just sit here and relax. You can move your seat back and just like, even even to the point of like hyper stretching your knee, right, like you sure. can actually like stretch it all the way out. That All those little things start to add up. Like three, Getting three, in three, here, we're pressurized. So even though that we're flying at 27,000 feet, our bodies feel like we're at 7,000 feet. Down to 2402 Golf Whiskey. Lead Air 1, contact Albuquerque, 132.45. 3245, Lead Air 1. So that's the, the really cool thing, even just like sliding the seat all the way back and you know, not having to like twist your body around and, and opening the door and all that, like, right? Yeah. You have all that room that you're able to do. Passengers back there are just like thrilled to death. They don't dread getting in the plane. They're, this is like, you can tell. That was the seat that was like engineered from, that was like ground zero for engineering this whole airplane, that seat that you're sitting in. So like feel how much room, it's cozy, it doesn't feel, you know, when you actually get inside the airplane, there's a lot of room. Is this cloth here standard? Yeah, this is all on the Aerove um, Vision Jet. So this is like Alcantara, carbon fiber. So all these fit and finishes are a big uh, big enhancement part of the Aerove or special edition package. How much is it to add that extra on? Um, it's 200K. So, and this is exterior, interior, the aesthetic feel to it. There's sort of a uh, delivery experience that's an upgraded delivery experience that goes around with it. I really like all, it. All of our demo so aircraft are contact configured in this. And quite frankly, even One, people two, that four, have four, had four, the four, option four, of configuring four, their four, airplane, some of our original position holders, they are yeah, you know, they go for this just because it looks so cool. Yeah, for sure. Very noticeably different. You know, Alcantara, this is a big sound barrier, or dampening thing. Yeah. So even, this is like a praline head cloth or headliner in a non Aerove. Awesome. So we just passed that gate, you feel the airplane starts slowing down. From VFR traffic. So the auto throttle set. Go ahead and hit vertical speed. Right now, bring that down. It looks like they might be inbound to Gillespie. Uh, 12 miles additional feet traffic, minutes, 12 o'clock, right? 3 miles. This one's off to 1200. Yeah. 5,100 indicated. And then you can hit approach. We're cleared for the approach. And then we can also set, um, so set 2,600 feet. We are cleared to land, Alicom my man. Three, two, three, cleared out of Palomar Class Delta surface here. It's at the south. Maintain special VFR conditions at or below 2,500. Go ahead and uh, disconnect one, whenever you're ready. One hand on the throttle there, looking really good. Palomar Tower to the flight to my row, short two forward, ready for spark and ready. And you just do a Three, nice seven, job two, hand Bravo, flying. Palomar, Tower, nice five, easy two, grip. Six, six, awaiting early. Aiming right at those white boxes. Five, two, looking six, really six, good, my man. Take a little of that power out. So oh, there you go, right there. Never a little high anyway, right? Yep. Give the power right where it's at. This feels, right. this feels so much better coming in. Does it feel nice? Yeah. Awesome. Start bringing a little bit more power out, just a little. Right there, hold it. Keep the nose right here, right down. Power to idle. And then just sit here, hold it off. Nice job, keep holding it off. There it is, beautiful. Nice, just relax, let it coast. There you go. Count to two. One, two, now come on the brakes. 
November 2 Golf nice. Whiskey, safe parking. Awesome. Uh, we're going to our Carlsbad Jet Center, 2 Golf Whiskey. November 2 Golf Whiskey, turn left, Alpha 5, taxi via Alpha. Alpha 5, uh, 2 Golf Whiskey via Alpha, thanks. Serious 2 Cool. Cool. Nice job, my man. Oh, first jet landing. Oh. First jet landing. You flew a jet. That's fantastic. That was awesome. Go back this way. Yeah, we'll park right over here. Sounds good. Helicopter, I used to one signal, Romeo so. with you. Yeah. Bring it around. Oh, she's point. She's so we're gonna point face to face with her. So there you go. Boost that up just a little bit. Good. Awesome. Give it a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Great. Cool. Nice job, my man. Baby. Yeah. So shutting this airplane down, very easy. Three steps. One, we'll turn the air conditioner off. Okay. Two, we're going to hit these three switches. Fresh air, oxygen, and strobes. Three, knob to off and hit the button. Uh, right on top there. There you go. Oh, cool. Uh, a man. Nice job. Yeah, baby. That was awesome. Good stuff. All right. So there it is. Just uh, took a ride on the Vision Jet. Man, I am in love. The thing is so smooth. Uh, the the climb up, the descent, um, the the autopilot, the auto throttle that actually. Um, does the the thrust for you and the landing was so smooth It's actually smoother than the sr-22, which is a much smaller plane uh, Which I'm getting ready to buy in fact when I landed I got a text saying that purchase agreement for my sr-22 turbo uh, Is in my inbox. So it was kind of perfect timing, but uh, so just to reiterate the vision jet It's got the parachute. It's got the auto land feature. So if the pilot becomes incapacitated passengers can hit the button and it lands itself. It's got a big screen that you can pull down and the passengers can watch TV shows. And man, it is just, the landing was so smooth. It's honestly the smoothest landing uh, that I have done. And it was my first jet landing. So freaking smooth. I'm so excited. So I just need to talk the wife into taking the four year wait and moving it up to two years. The only issue is we have to put a lot more money down and still wait the two years. By the way, if you haven't seen my other videos on buying planes and why I'm buying planes for tax write-offs, uh, go watch that video. And in fact, I'll probably do one here on the Cirrus Jet as well. So you can see the financials and the way that I'm working uh, tax savings to basically uh, pay for these planes and making it almost a money maker if I decide to do so. So until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for coming along.